Do you love Amazon.com? Do you love two drink minimum? Now you can have them both together. Go to twodrinkminimum.org before you go to Amazon. There's an Amazon banner on the top of the page. You click through there, do your normal Amazon shopping. Doesn't cost you anything more. Helps keep the lights on and party people, that ain't bad. The Amazon.com banner on twodrinkminimum.org. people in the place to be what squads on this me it's me check it out all Def digital has something new to the channel it's uh the friend zone support group featuring trey melvin this should be interesting all Def digital usually has some good uh content i just watched their netflix and chill one and i liked it and i laughed we've seen there for the first times we're gonna watch this little sketch add sketch the friend zone support group we've probably all been there and it starts right now <laughs> Good guys are potential lovers and not reliable friends. <laughs> that really should be a mantra. Tyler, and he's been in the friend zone since 013. Thank you. We went to dinner. How are you keeping a f whatever? Tickets to the weekend. It was going fantastic, and then the weekend. Three years. If it's been three years, homie, cut her off. Sasha, you're 42. Facebook <laughs> profile says 35, but you're not fooling me. You're 42. <laughs> it's your birthday next week. Happy birthday, bitch. You've been in this world for 14 years. You have absolutely no progress, but you know what you don't have. Time. Hi, I'm Lisa. I see we have a new member in the group. Hi, girl. What's your story? I decided to join the group. Yes, I think women need a gay best friend to tell them shit like this. Been there. Cut her the fuck off. I just sat him down. I was like, hey, watch some gay porn, see if you like it. And I just By I the way, Lafayette, I'm gonna need you to stop wearing see-through shit if you just if you if you if you're gonna look like that. You gonna you're gonna be fine like that. You just you just, you just can't you know what I'm saying? Like I'm already in my head thinking about what's underneath, you know what I'm saying? Like you you cute as fuck. Like you gotta whoo, that's distracting as all fuck. Sorry. Sorry, it just, it just, it, I, I just, know. she's just so. Does he have tattoos? She's fucking cute no, to me. Like, I, oh my gosh, that is why I've been so guarded. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, I'm texting. Right now, I'm texting Anthony, Antoine, Brandon, Justin. Oh, the second Justin just hit me. <laughs> Do you plan on being physically and or romantically involved with any of them? Oh, no. Yeah, I really just like the attention. Like, have you ever noticed that? Thank you. With forget to send you morning texts. Yeah. Thank you. You know who doesn't? My friend's own friend. Give me your phone. Thank you on the I just want attention part. Thank you. That's the whole crook. We can end this shit right now. Bye, bye, baby. Boom, boom, boom. We can end this shit right. Oh, there's more sketch. Okay. All you bitches got something in common. You gonna die the fuck alone. <laughs> Single. Okay, okay. Vivica Fox. <laughs> Fucking with gay niggas. 
single. <laughs> Kiki Palmer. That's a good one, yeah? Single. But she has time. No shit. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, who wrote this? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Give him some. Louder. Give him some. Yes, yes. If he's over 35, he plays through his mixtape. Give him some. Yeah, yeah. That's an over 35 thing. You bitches ain't learned shit. Here's your homework. Next week, I want a list of all the friend zone friends. Y'all gonna fuck me. I have a lot of friends. That's gonna hurt. You're my friend. Do I put you on the list? about this boy i have been bitching and moaning and complaining about this shit since before y'all were party people oh my goodness yes everything about this the whole netflix and chill and then no nookie shit the, the this whole thing like i said could all be summarized by my girl uh's line of i just want the attention that's it that's the whole thing fellas they just want the, that's the whole thing, ladies. You just want the attention. Fucking admit, you just want the attention. But no, 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 no. Women, women don't like to just come out and say shit. Beige Phillip has this philosophy that women have integrity amnesia, which means basically one thing that they say today might not mean shit. Not tomorrow, not tonight, not this afternoon, like right after they say it. So as they're saying it, but that just nailed it right on the fucking head. Just one attention. Why? Because guess what? Guess what guys don't do? Guys don't befriend girls that aren't related to them that they don't want to fuck. At some point in time, they want to fuck you or they wanted to fuck you or you're the girlfriend of their best friend or something or you're like their sister-in-law, which still counts as family or some shit like that. But if they're just friends, one-on-one -on -one friends with you, it's because they want to fuck you. And to say that that's not it, or why are guys like that? Because guys can be friends with other guys. Women like to befriend men because women have a hard time befriending each other. Oh, I just blew up the fucking comment section. Oh, I just made you switch off the video. But you know it's true. I don't know how many, there's, there, I've said it before and I'll say it again, probably. There's only one woman I have ever met who I know of that is still friend that's with uh, another female and or, uh, for that matter, a group of females for the majority of her life, and that was my mom, of all people. Every other woman I come across can't be friends with another woman for extended periods of time because they end up fucking hating each other. They get the fucking claws out. They fucking hate each other. Sisters. They fucking hate their sisters and shit. So, oh my goodness. Meanwhile, guys, guys don't do that. If, if we're friends with a guy, we're friends with a guy. If something happens, we're not friends with a guy, fine. But we have a tendency to have long-lasting friendships. Friendships from high school, college, junior high school, elementary school some fucking times all the way into adulthood and nearing old age. Are you fucking kidding me? My father was able to call up one of his old buddies from 40 fucking years ago on a whim who we hadn't talked to in years and fucking conversation for an hour. Just catching the fuck up. That's how guys are. 
but women, and they see that and they're like, I want that, I want that kind of friendship. And rather than fixing that within other women, right? Rather than being cool with their friendships with their gay male friends, they try to strike, they try to do the whole thing with the, with the straight male friends knowing in the back of their mind, you have to know this. You can't not know that the straight male uh, person, straight male person, straight male, yeah, that's a drinker down, I guess. Ooh, you can't possibly know that a straight male you're trying to be friend doesn't want to fuck you, baby. Like, come on. You're not stupid. I hold you in higher regard than to think that you're stupid like that. You're not, you're not dumb. You know that. You just either ignore it or choose to play around with that fact. Love, <laughs> love, love, love this sketch. Oh, love, love, love everything about this. Whoever wrote that, you know what? I would kind of be surprised if, if, if this was a, a woman who wrote this. Maybe not. I mean, because maybe she's self-aware. Maybe she understands what the fuck is going on and isn't the typical, and isn't the typical kind of chick. But hold on, let's see here. In the credits. Producers, written by Cynthia Lusuet, Lasu, yeah, Cynthia Luciet. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. Cynthia, you are well aware of what the fuck is going on. Oh, listen, by the way, if you, first of all, I, you, first of all, Cynthia Luciet writing this shit doesn't stop my fucking crush. This just makes me have a bigger crush on her for the fact that she's fucking self-aware. She understands what the fuck is going on. Her head is not in the sand. She's 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 woke. It's really interesting because when you see something uh, from a female perspective, it's usually not as open to the possibility that women aren't always right as this is. It, it's not as willing to accept the other side as this is. And I'm, I, it's re fucking refreshing to see something like this is what it is. Oh, whew. You thought my crush on her just dissipated at all uh, with what she was wearing and the fact she wrote it? Whew, no, no it hasn't. Party people, tell me what you think about this down there in the comments section. Tell me uh, how right I am, how wrong I am. But remember, by the way, this is going to help me in the online arguments. She wrote it. A woman wrote it. And it was pretty funny. And it was pretty spot on. Uh, so tell me what you think about this. Have you put somebody in the friend zone and didn't know it? And uh, we all, oh boy, I would say every guy has been in that fucking friend zone. I've been in that friend zone. I've been friend zoned by a friend with benefits who was like, who... You kept being all wishy-washy with the fucking benefits and shit. And it's like, you know what, fellas? You're better than that. You see all the shit telling women that they're better than that, that they're queens and all this other shit? Fellas, you're better than that. You're better than that. Your time is worth more than that. All right? Your energy is worth more than that. You can put your time and your energy into something much more productive than that. Something that will actually benefit you. Whether whether what you're looking for is sex, which we're all looking for, or what you're looking for is relationship, which by the way, ladies, includes sex, uh, a, an emotional relationship, a, a monogamous relationship, which includes sex. Your time is worth more than that. You're wasting your time by spending your time on these friend zone chicks, is what's happening. Because they're not benefiting you because they're not getting you the girls that are going to cater to what you want because women are terrible wing people. I've seen it firsthand. They're fucking terrible wing people. You're wasting your time and your energy if you spend it on these chicks that are that are just going to friend zone you anyway. They, they go ahead and friend zone you, cut them the fuck off. Cut them off. And go find what you need. Life's too fucking short. Bar people, tell me what you think down there in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. Go to youtube.com slash surreal469. Click the little blue button over on the right-hand side that says support. You'll be supporting and part of people that ain't bad. Boom. Boom. Boom.